Hey guys, we're super excited to be here at the LA Fit Expo. It's our third year in a row. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be launching a tasty pastry. It's a low carb pop tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods, Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Thursday, February 4th, 2021. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. To quote the late great Bob Ross, talent is a pursued interest. And for as long as I've known him, Amit Roy's always been a guy who made it a point to do something in pursuit of his talents on a daily basis. Last week, Amit released a new leg training clip on his Instagram where he went into detail with a long post about some of the things he's pursuing to help take himself towards his lifelong goal of making it to the Olympia stage. According to Roy, now that he's taken the time to have a real off season, he's finally starting to recover nagging injuries that limited his ability to go all in with his training over the last few years. Anyone who's familiar with Amit's story knows how hard this guy has worked just to get where he is right now. So if he is healthy and ready to go, I don't see any reason why this can't be the year he finally punches his Olympia ticket. Sometimes when you're a creative person, learning how to channel your muse is really hard to do. I think we just assume that all creative people are born that way, but the truth is that they all need to find inspiration somewhere just like the rest of us. And with that being said, I'm sure that somewhere out there in the world, there's some young aspiring fitness athlete who's looking to Oksana Grishina to someone who could be their source of inspiration. For all intents and purposes, Oksana probably is the most influential athlete in the division for the last five or six years, which means that there's a whole generation of people out there who have been trying to emulate what she does on some level. That's the power of inspiration. And I don't think the impact of the mark she's left on the fitness division can be overstated. Don't ask me why, but I got sucked into watching a whole segment on the Weather Channel two days ago about how low pressure systems create, well, snowstorms. Here's the thing about these systems. Under the right conditions, when certain atmospheric conditions collide, they create these huge events. And in some ways, that same thing basically happens every time Nicole Zenobia Graham steps into the gym. After being somewhat of a breakout star last year, there's some buzz floating around about Graham being someone who could have a big, big time season in figure. So if she gets into the right show at the right moment, at the right atmospheric conditions, and they collide, who's to say that she won't end up unleashing her storm on some of the other elite athletes in the division? In the world of academia, it's hard for people to give any credulence to your work unless they are verifiable and repeatable. But bodybuilding is in academia, because even if someone tried to follow Hunter Labrata's plan down to a T, 99% of the people on this planet still wouldn't be able to replicate the results. According to Hunter's team, he's about 19 weeks out from his first show of the year and waking up in the morning somewhere in the neighborhood of 263 pounds. At the moment, they're still not saying what their first event of the season will be, which might be because even they aren't sure what the plans are yet. But as far as I'm concerned, he looks better now than he did at any point last year. So whenever he decides to make his first appearance, this kid is gonna be a major problem. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.